Brooks. I am originally from New Jersey. I've been in IT for the last 33 years. And in between that, still cutting down trees, climbing trees, and all that other stuff in between. My name is Terrell Lee. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I work in a small car lot just and to get out of the house. That, I still cut. discovered this whole community of traders in the trade room, which, you know, I knew I was sitting in front of my computer at home all by myself, and now all of a sudden, here is this community out there, which I found very generous. Everybody was so supportive and welcoming. I just really blew me away. What makes us so different than other schools is that we're just not your typical school. It's going to teach at trade. We're going to go out there and be part of a family, be part of a team. We're looking for traders that we could trade together. My name is Josh Levitin. Uh, I'm from Bethpage, New York, and I'm the senior instructor here at Cyber Training University. Yeah. What makes our on-site class so great, aside from the networking aspect of it all, just having our students meet each other for the first time, is the fact that myself and Fausto are very hands-on with our students in the sense of just being able to literally overlook their shoulder and watch their trade, what they're focused on from their platform. Some news came out and the thing just popped. Um, while I can comment on what they should focus on online, they might not be able to understand that as well compared to having us right there in front of them. I kind of like the idea of not being in front of a computer eight hours a day because I can't do that. So I kind of like the idea of doing it in the morning and then going to do all the other stuff I need to do. Everyone that you thought was going to do that, you're going to have you're going you're gonna to have nine losses versus one winner. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's not worth it. When I spoke to Fausto on the phone and he interviewed me, the thing he said the hardest thing for me to do would be to unlearn the things that I previously learned. And it turns out that's 100% true. And the stuff that I'm learning from him and from Josh and everybody um, has really made all the difference in the world in understanding what a day trader is and how it actually works. Uh, Fausto and the staff at CTU University, they, they're they really on top of everything. They give you good good trade choices and, and they keep you alert on to whatever's happening in the market at the, at the time for the day. Right, so we, we made a profit. What did I just say earlier? Just take the money take the money and run because guess what? If you didn't take it, how would you be doing right now? Yeah. Now, you're, now you're losing money. You, you're just trying to make that day's pay. That's all you're looking to do. You got it, you made it. Listen, for every stock, if that kept on going, for every one that you thought was going to do that, you're going, to have, you're, going to, you're going to have nine losses versus one winner. I don't think you're going to find a better uh, support team in the stock trading business anywhere. That's why I'm here at the uh, platinum level. You know, a lot of people want to go out there and trade and don't know if it's for them or not. And guess what? That's okay, because it's not. And the thing you have to look at is you have to find a mentor, you have to find a school, you have to sample a couple of things with a couple of schools out there, do a couple of classes, and you make the choice. But don't make the biggest mistake that people make. Go out there and be part of 90%, maybe even higher, of the failure rate in today's industry because people want to try it before they learn. I mean, would you ever want someone to work on your loved ones that never went to med school? Or how about just giving your finance money to some financial planner that never learned finance? We are no different, but you are on the right path. The right path is you should be doing it on your own. And by doing it on your own, you need a mentor to show you how to do it. And that's what you're gonna get here at CyberTree University. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi, president and founder of Cybertrain University. Can I get a chat back? If you guys can hear me loud and clear, please. I want to make sure if everybody can hear me okay. I'm just going to get the video cam up and running. Oh, just got to get the cam up and running. Uh, Rich, could you get the allow me to get the cam running, please? Looks like I can't get it running. All right. Give me a second here, everybody. Just want to be able to get a couple of things up here and running so we can get started.
All right, everybody. So uh, let's just get moving. Uh, everyone, uh, good to see you all. Uh, good to see you. The spiking audio. They were loud and clear. Okay, good to see you. Alan. Rich, good to see you. Frank. All right, everybody. So anyway, let's get started. Um, first of all, hope everybody enjoyed that quick little video that we just showed up there. Uh, what you basically were watching. It's just a, a little demonstration of a couple of... Uh, you know, students of ours are doing a couple of testimonials, telling me how we changed their lives. You know, what was really big about that is that you could see they're just like people like you. And the goal is, is kind of make you understand that everybody can start trading. You see what's going on in today's markets regarding about the coronavirus and, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, COVID, anything, whatever it may be. But um, people have to start staying home. People are making a lot of money due to it. Some people are really hurt by it, you know. But there's no safer place and better and more prestigious job than trading today's market. So uh, hold on one second. I got, uh, that, that's what it was. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Looks like I have a problem here. I can't do that. All right. Let me see if this works now. All right. Now, um, let me just change the slide here. So basically, what, what I'm going to be doing today, everybody, is I'm not, you know, here to give away a free TV, a free car, uh, you know, a, a, a raffle. You know what? I'm here for you to go out there and buy this stuff on your own. You know, be able to be proud to say, hey, I was able to pay off my kid's student, uh, my, pays, uh, my kid's college. I'm here to go out there and do trades like, you know, uh, buying stuff that matters to me and not saying, oh, I won this, I won that. So the big thing is going out there and trading and trying to figure it out. I'm going to show you how to play the game, and you're going to see why I've been in business for 25 years and why that most schools that you're seeing out there are actually students of ours, why we are basically endorsed by more brokerage firms, by any school in the industry, and have a four, a five-star rating on Google and a triple-A rating on Better Business Bureau because what we teach works. But please understand something. Trading is not for everybody. It's not. you know, And that's okay. I said that in the video because I want you to understand, if you want to trade, you got to know how to play the game. If you don't want to take the time to learn it and see other people making money, then I'm sorry to say you're going to get be part of the 80 90% failure rate in today's industry. But you got to do it right or don't do it at all. Now, why am I here teaching? People always ask. You say, Fausto, and this is a great question. Some people get a little def uh, defensive on it. But if you're such a great trader, why do you teach? Well, let me explain something to you. I was a very big failure when it came to trading because I, when I started out, I was actually 22 years old. I'm actually going to be 49 next month. And um, the thing is, I try to do it. I, I try to go out there and do a trade and try to do it myself. I failed miserably. Okay. I, I failed miserably because at the end of the day, who really trained me? And you know what? Today's people are like, well, what did someone's got to teach me to trade? Like, really? Like, uh, let me let me try it first and let me see how it goes. And I do okay, and then whatever. Then I'll learn later. Okay. Let me know how that works out for you because that's about 99% of people's people today. When I, when I finally gave up and I said, you know what? My father taught me something very valuable, very smart man. He says, son, why are you, why, what are you doing? Why are you going out there and trying to do this? Why don't you go get a job? Well, I, I, and I, I told him I didn't want to go take a ride into the city. And I live here in New York. And, you know, the only way you could, guys can uh, actually work for a big trading firm is you got to know people. Well, fortunate for me, I did know people in the business. And I said, you know what? I had the opportunity to go on a job interview and see what it's like working at a true professional trading firm. And you know what I learned? And what you're all about to learn today should have never made my first trade. Every little thing I did was complete ignorance, stupidity. Okay. Um, just, just basically just a bad trade. Because the tools that I was using, I was not using. And they're all out there for you to use. Now, the difference between 25 years ago and today is everything's like almost like 90, 95% cheaper. Tickets are free. 
I, you don't have to pay a thousand dollars for level four anymore. It costs you fifteen dollars, all that stuff. So, but to succeed, what I'm doing today, getting back to why do I teach, is because for me to succeed as a trader, I need to recruit traders like you. The only way I can make money is I got to find traders that have a passion to do it, that want to, that love this job. Because if you're that person, then you're in the right room. Because I will go over and beyond to teach you guys. Think of me as an employer, and you're the employee. It is very hard to find a good match. And if anybody here know, has owned the business, you know how hard it is to find good employees. Not that they're all bad people. It's just that you're not the right fit. But I'm hoping that we, we, got, we got a bunch of you in here now that I could train, that you could, I can make you, make you part of my group, so we could all make money together. That is how you trade in today's markets. Now, the main thing why a lot of people are here is for this. It's not about making money. It's to stop losing money. Here at Cyber Trade University, we don't teach you, you know, oh, look at me. Hey, I made, you know, $23, $70 million on this stock. And hey, look at this. Uh, you know, with me, my hands up in the air, you know, and say, hey, look at my new car. I bought this. Listen, I don't know about you guys, but if you like the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, there are people out there that like that. I'm not looking for those type of traders. Here at Cybertrain University, I had that ego. Maybe it was at 23, 24. I'm 40. I'm going to be 49. I, got, I, I just dropped off my son at D Delaware University, my firstborn. Uh, I want to, you know, his college is paid for. My, I got two more kids that are going up and married for 27, uh, 25 years. I, you know what? I don't need to go brag that we, I'm not that type of person and I'm not looking for people like that. I know it sounds good, but the end of the day, how does that make you money, right? How does that make you money other than going out there and showing people, you know, what, what, what they're trading? Like, for example, I want to get right to this. If you're seeing people that saying, that, first of all, if you're going to come up to me and ask me, hey, Faust, so let me see your trades. Well, guess what? You will. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite every single one of you to watch not my trades, but my students' trades and see how much money they make, okay? But don't be fooled by people going out there and say, hey, can I see your trades? And you see these people showing these trades. If I can only tell you how many people out there are showing fake reports, fake, not, not, I'm not everyone, but a lot of them, Okay. And, and, it, and it, cause then it opens up a whole can of worms. How, how do I know that's real? Who, um, could we log into your brokerage account? Could you email them to me? listen? You're all going to see it live in trading. Okay. I'm going to invite you all in there, but if you're that person that wants to make money, then you're in the right place. So let me just do a quick poll question. I want to, I always like to do these polls cause they're always fun. All right. And could I do a poll? Nope. I can't, uh, Looks like Rich, my poll has been um, disabled. And I just need uh, Rich, you just give me access to polls. Looks like whenever I made you, got, I guess you got to make me the host. Rich, could you do that really quick? You just get that to Rich to make me the host. We had to go back and forth. You know, it's very hard when we're doing these, you know, working remotely because, I you mean, know, we all know we're all working remotely. All right, there we go. And I could sh share my video. All right. Can everybody see, my, uh, see me okay now? Now it looks like I – okay, there we go. Now you see my video. All right. So you all know I'm a, I'm a real person, not no evergreen webinar. Okay, let you people see these things. All right, now the poll is um, what kind of trader are you? Let's just do this. I want to see what kind of trader everybody is, okay? Barry, good to see you too. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm just kind of asking, I want to know what kind of trader everybody is so I can kind of get the feel of who we're going to be talking to and I know where to go about with this. All right. And I always like to ask poll questions because people are always shy to chat, but it's easy just to check the boxes. All right, so uh, let's end the poll and I'm going to share the results so you can see everybody, see where you're all at. And it looks like uh, we got a lot of stock traders, few options, well, seconds, options, futures, and Forex. All right, good. Well, I'm an actual day trader. 
Ooh, day trade. Really, I get scared. Like, oh, you day trade, lose all your money. That's very risky. Actually, day trading is actually the least risky. You don't hold positions overnight. Okay. You don't have to worry about technical analysis. Um, you're basically just making your days pay and that's it. Okay. Uh, you know, and you're always in cash. You're always in cash. You know, so when you guys go out there and count your profits, like, oh, look how much money I'm making in Tesla. Okay. Did you sell it yet? Well, you know, because there's a lot of stocks that tanked and you know what I'm talking about. So I like to day trade, like to sleep at night. If you're an options trader, let me just clarify something really quick. You damn well better learn how to stock trade first because it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. All right. Options are great, but they're a lot more riskier than just trading the stock directly. Futures. If anybody likes futures, I'll be happy. I'll, I'll be able to, if you're interested in some good futures instructors, uh, I'll be, just email me. I'll give you my email address in the chat room. I'd be happy to send them to you. There's only a few people I know that know how to trade futures. I don't trade futures. I, don't how, I know how it works, but I like stocks. Now, here's just a quick picture of a couple of people out there that we trained before in person. It's one of our Trader Summit. The, the, the purpose of this photo is look at the people in this room, okay? They will probably look exactly like you. You got border control people. You got business owners. You got grandmas and grandpas. You got engineers. You got, um, you got uh, bakers. Who else I got here? Um, you got pilots, accountants. I mean, these people are just like you. So you have to understand something. If they can do it, you could do it. Now, let's talk about a couple of stocks that we're going to trade. I'm going to teach you basically. Yes, they're all students, Steve. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, now we're talking about some stocks that we trade. I'm going to tell you what they are, how did they work, how we find them, and how you can monetize them. Did anybody trade this stock NIO? Anybody see the stock NEO? Anybody heard about NEO? The stock was great. It started from yesterday, went from 15. It's almost, it's almost as high as 20. Where is it today? Is it uh, this morning? No, it's still going. NEO. I backed off a little bit. Yeah, it went to about 20. Let me just bring up the chart here. Uh, yeah, you can see it kind of went almost all the way up to about 2050. Okay. That slide was from yesterday. Yeah, it does electric cars. Yeah, it does electric cars. And basically, you know, it's, it's a copycat of Tesla, basically. Tesla is doing phenomenal. This stock is probably, you know, is so cheap. People are like, well, I can't afford Tesla. Let me go to the copycat China company and let me deal with them. Right. It does electric cars, Frank. Um, now, Regarding about NEO, the question you have to ask yourself is, how did you find it? Where did it come from? How did you know it was still going up, right? That is what I'm going to teach you. Now, listen, what I'm about to show you is going to be very disturbing because I know a lot of you here bought courses from other people and like, I don't understand why are you doing it right and they taught me wrong. Well, listen, I can't talk to them other than, you know, I probably never competed with them in a trader challenge. Or you got to make sure that these brokerage for these, these schools are endorsed by people. But what I'm showing you is what I live here in New York. This is the financial capital of the world. I trade with some of the biggest brokerage firms. I'm going to show you exactly how we do it every day. And nothing really has changed. Like I said earlier, just ticket charges went down. Technology got cheaper. Scanning the market, pre-market. I don't care what I trade. And honestly, you shouldn't care either. You just want to make money, right? Like, do you really care that, like, if you're an anti-China -China, China person, like, I would, now after what happened to China, with, with the virus and, and now we're finding out that they make all, I would never buy anything from China. You know what I mean? Like, listen, that is your personal, you know, belief. But as a trader, I was just talking to a student just, just about two hours ago, and he said, you know what he told me? He says, oh, Biden's going to win the election, and I'm looking forward to it because the market's going to crash in half. And I'm looking forward to short it. I'm actually looking, you know, for a Biden win because the market's going to go down 50%. So he already has a game plan, all right? Now, but I told him, I says, what happens if he loses? You know, he says, then, then I got to change my game plan. But he's thinking like a trader. He's not thinking like how we're thinking, like taking it personally. And the way we find these stocks is basically working the big percentage gainers because the way you find them, like, well, you know, stocks up 80%, 60%, 30%. This is how you find these stocks. You got to look in a big percentage gainers and losers. And that's how we find a stock like NEO or any other stocks. Now, um, and by the way, 
all these things that we do, we do, uh, I think uh, we just posted up that link right there. If you click on our Instagram, if you click on our um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, I, we do a live broadcast every morning and every afternoon. Okay. So everything you'll be able to see this stuff live that we, we cover. So you find that we're not playing, you know, uh, you know, uh, guessing games here. Okay. Now, um, how did you know Neo was going up? All right. So listen, I'm not an analyst. I'm not UBS bank or anything else. What we do is we follow the money. That's it. We follow the money when it comes to trading. And when you follow the money, it's the, it's these people right here that control the, 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 the stock, how they go up and go down and actually be shocked. But even people like you are doing it too. Also, it's all about marketing, but this is the main reason why people fail. They just don't know how to play the game. They go out there, they see stocks like Neo, and you know they're like, "Well, how did you know it was going up?" They're, they're still stuck in stocks like Intel that got crushed, or stocks like Uber. You know what I mean? Like, oh, but it's a good company. I understand, but there are you got to know to cut your losses and run with the winners. So, let's talk about the tools that we use to trade today's market. Now, uh, let me just uh, let me just do a one more last poll. Well, actually, no, I got a few polls we're going to do. All right. I love doing polls. All right. So a poll question here is this. Do you have level three access? So can everybody give me a chat back and just let me know and be honest. Yes. No. And if you're a student, please do not answer this question. Okay. All right. So as you guys are answering this question, can I ask, this is a, a question for the chat room. If you let me train you, if you let me train you, um, how much you think it's worth to you if I was to show you where 70% of where the buyers and sellers are in the stock that you're in right now, 70% of the volume, what, do you, what, what is that worth? Worthless? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, Steve says, I believe that level three and level four are the missing pieces in trading. It's priceless. Well, thank you very much, Steve. Uh, Jeff says it's worth about $20,000. <laughs> okay. Barry says it's priceless. Very useful from Frank. Okay. Anybody else? Unlimited. All right. From Christian. Listen, what you're about to see right now is going to be very disturbing. And I'll tell you why. You know why it's going to be very disturbing? Because some of you probably spent a lot of money on training and you're probably going to look at this and be like, wait, I don't get it. Why was I not taught this? Why, you know, this makes absolute sense. Believe it or not, a student yesterday, a new student, <clears throat> Joe from Ontario, uh, said something. He says, Fausto, I learned more in your free class that I took with you last week, then I spent over $10,000 with another school, which I'm not going to mention, that just taught me a bunch of, you know, indicators and, you know, and this nice cup of coffees there and everything else. Uh, you know, it was a great, great looking place, but it was a ba basically a $10,000 one week uh, of a being in a nice place. Okay. So anyway, this right here is going, to be, is going to teach you exactly how the market works. Now, I don't know if you know this, but at the end of the presentation, I'll give you guys the link. Um, I'm a, I've been featured on NASDAQ on their, on their TV show several times to talk about the exact thing I'm going to be talking about right now. So there, now we, the way the market moves is this. Buyers and sellers. Okay? It's not support and resistance. Okay, the problem with support and resistance is that support and resistance levels get broken all the time. Who breaks the support and resistance on a stock or anything? Buyers and sellers. Okay, if you were able to remember Beanie Babies or Cabbage Patch Dolls or even cars, okay, you don't look at a chart. You look where the buyers and sellers are. The, the, the chart only tells you what happened in the past. It's not always indicative of the future. So let's talk about where we get that data from. 
Now, there is this thing that's called level two. Problem with level two, it's been outdated since the 90s. It doesn't give you the true data of buyers and sellers out there because it's only telling you where the biggest buyer is and the biggest seller is at that. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a brokerage firm's best bid and best offer. It's not showing you all his bids and all his offers. It's just showing you his last best price. That's it. And his last best price might be willing to buy only 100 shares. But he's probably looking to buy 100,000 shares just about 10 cents from now. You're not going to see it in level two. So level two is worthless. That's why it's free. Okay? Now, there is this window that's called NASDAQ Total View. Now, does anybody have here, does anyone have NASDAQ Total View? Anybody here have it? Steve says, find the big boys and big stuff. Uh, Sell orders indicators are an ultimate joke. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Very well said, Steve. Okay, we've got a few of you saying yes. Mike, Alan, Jeff, no, no, no. A lot of no's. Wow. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna start teaching you how it works, and then I'm gonna teach you how we apply in today's markets. Okay. Remember, there are a lot of stocks that are moving. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Um, listen, I'll even show you really quick here and bring up an execution system. Um, look at these stocks like R-E-K-R, -R -E stocks up 24%, went from $4 to $7. Uh, this is a stock that we've been trading right now, P-E-D. Stock went from $0.75 cents to two fifty. dollars At 1130, the stock started at a buck eighty. Look where it is now. It's literally almost, it's actually halted right now. Uh, the stock ran almost to 260. Uber is doing okay. Um, we did pretty well with the airlines today. You know, up three dollars, uh, four percent. These are all big this morning, actually, that were moving pretty well. So, you know, VBIV stocks up 31 percent. DGLY here's in the here's a nice mover right now, up 25 percent. Look how look this and this stock looks like it's going to be going a lot higher right now. The question is this. How do these stocks go up and go down? Who's running them up? Is it done? You're like, yeah, I remember DGLI, Fausto, back in June. It ran from two to seven. Could I be that lucky one, two to get it? And could it go back to seven? It could or could not. How do we know that is what I'm about to show you right now. How do things go up and go down? It's not supply and demand. Get that out of your head. It's buyers and sellers. So, Let's look over. Let me get my little uh, crayon over here so you guys can follow along. Animation. Okay. Here's a little red dot. So here are the buyers and here are the sellers. There are two columns. So basically what you're looking at is a big chat room. That's basically what it is. You got orders, you got shares, and you got price. Whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. On the sell side, whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for more money is down at the bottom. Now, we don't know who the buyer is, who the seller is, if it's an institution, if it's a high-frequency trade. It's irrelevant. It's not. First of all, it, it, it doesn't help you at a single bit because at the end of the day, there are millions of people trading the stock. It's all about following the money, okay? And anyway, why would I expose myself and tell you I'm a buyer if I'm really a big broker trader? I'm like a Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley. Think I'm going to go out there and tell you? No, I'll hide behind one of these ECNs. That's what I do it. But the thing is this. The goal is to find out where are the big buyers and sellers because the big buyers and sellers are what make support and resistance levels. Uh, Christian, no, this does not work for Forex. No, but it does work for futures. There's something called level four. Um, if you email me, I could tell you, you know, how we use it, uh, towards, uh, futures. Now, SPEC stock goes from 1825 in an hour. I mean, less than 10 minutes goes all the way up to about 1960 stops. 
comes all the way back down to 1825, and then goes back up to 1940. Now, the question is, why 1925? Why not, why not 1880? Why not 17? Why not zero? Why 1825? Like, you're watching the stock going down. And there are two people that get affected by this. The guy that's crapping in his pants because he's losing money. And the other person that's drooling in his mouth because he, you know, he wants to, he loves the company so much. He wants to get a good price. But where is that number? Where is the final number? Well, if you look over here on NASDAQ Book Viewer, you'll see right here, if you work your way down and you look at all the prices and you, and you look exactly where the more demand is, you have a 102,000 share buyer right there at 1825. Now, I don't know if that's, you know, Goldman Sachs. I don't know if that's the, uh, the Fidelity Fund. I don't know who the hell that is. All I know is that there's a big buyer out there. Let's look on the buy it. And, there, and the only way that stock is going to go lower, if that guy cancels his order or he gets executed. And I'm not going to take that gamble. All I know is he's out there. He's exposing it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the main reason why the stock did not go below 1825. Now, let's look at the stock going higher. American Airlines, 930 this morning, goes from 3150 all the way up to $34 in an hour. My God, that is a huge winner. Tremendous winner. How many of you guys went out there and say, damn it, why didn't I sell it five minutes ago? Blow up a lead, you know, throw extra money away. Being a good trader is having a game plan. You always have to know where is the next seller. And when you look over here, there's only one way it's going to tell you that. Exactly, Steve. There is a 123,000 share seller sitting at $34. And guess what? There are 39 people around the entire world trading American Airlines trying to get out at that $34 price range. So unless somebody's going to take that guy out, which I'm not going to take a gamble on. I'm going to assume it's a resistance levels and I'm going to sit there and sell and I'm going to be prepared to get out. You know how many people don't look at it that way? You know how many people go out there and don't have that game plan? You see, what you're looking at on a chart, if you're a minute chart, you're a minute behind. If you're looking at a five minute chart, you're five minutes behind. People are like, oh, what kind of, well, how many minutes? Well, listen, every minute go back is a minute delayed. But that still doesn't answer the question of where are the sellers? Because there's no, there's no software. There's no indicator out there that's going to tell you where what we call these big iceberg orders are. That's right, Steve, all laggers. Um, uh, Christian has a question. He goes, how much capital do you need to start trading stocks? Christian, listen, that's the least of your problems right now. You know how much money you need? $9. You have $9 in your pocket? You have $9? That's how much money you need to trade stocks right now. $9. You got it? Who's got $9? You got $9? You got $9, Mike? You got $9? Everybody's raising their hand. Okay, good. That's all you need right now is $9. Okay? People are like, what the hell? That doesn't make any sense. It's going to make perfect sense when we're when we're, we're we're going to be done in less than 20 minutes. Right now, you are trying to get into one of the most prestigious jobs in the world. And I'm not talking about being a doctor. I'm not talking about being a lawyer. Okay? Because when you watch politics, you ever notice they always go after Wall Street? They hate Wall Street. Because people work so hard. And they see these people just sitting there and they make money by a click of a button. You know what I've learned? I don't learn to get angry. I learn to like, I look at the opposite. I look, why are they so angry at these people? Why do they hate them so much? And like, oh, he makes a lot of money. 
a lot more money than anyone. So why not? Why try to beat them? Just join them. You know what I mean? Like you could switch parties. <laughs> You're like, right? You could switch. They're like, you know what? I'm sitting here working my ass off, putting a roof on a building, and I'm making 200 a day, and this guy's making $200 an hour, making $1,000. Why would I not want that job? You know? Exactly, Steve. And that's where it comes down to it. You have to go out there. And by the way, you could see that one of the instructors that's logged in, Rich, I can't answer all the questions in great detail, but, you know, listen, click on that link, subscribe to our YouTube channel right now, subscribe on it and get these alerts. We'll show it to you live. All right, everybody ready to have a little fun here? Let's look at this trade right here. Okay. Now, uh, what happens when you have a 92,000 share buyer at 2830? What do you think is going to happen? We're watching, looking at Delta right now. What do you think is going to happen when you get to that price, 2830? There's like 10 people in this room that are answering. I mean, guys. You want to be a good trader? Author, I haven't heard from you. Bolt, I never heard from you. Chris, Mike, you know, Frank, Gary, Joe Wash. I mean, come on, guys. You want to make money? Let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. When I took a job as a trader, if people were not answering questions when, my, when, when, the, when the boss was asking, he says, you know what? You're fired. You get, no, you're out. The guy's like, I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't answer the question. You know what that means? That means that you don't understand what we're talking about. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you better quit trading right now because that $9 that you're going to be paying to learn how to trade is going to cost you $900, $9,000, $90,000. You could lose it all. Don't be scared to ask. When I ask a question, I am not here because I'm here to do charity work. I'm here to find business people that want to learn how to make money, okay? Don't, so please don't make me feel like I'm wasting my time. Please follow along. The question is this. What is going to happen when we hit 92,000 buyers out there, 1,000 shares? Exactly. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. Thanks a lot, AB. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks a lot, Arthur. Now I'm hearing you guys speak. Congratulations. You just passed the first test. Let me change the slide here. Did you need an indicator to tell you that? Did you need a did you need a, a heat seeker to tell you that? Did you need to read the news on to tell you that? No, because look what happened when Delta came right back down. Start at 2980, 20, 2940, 29, 2840. Guess what? Came up right to that 92,000 shares at 1115. If you just waited and were patient, boom. Now you up 40 cents, 60 cents. 1,000 shares, $600, $100,000 salary. Thank you very much. I would do that all day long than sit there at 100-degree weather and try to hit and, and, and hopefully, you know, don't get coronavirus, but maybe, you know, doing, I'm looking at them building a $5 million house across the street from me and having these guys that sitting there, you know, uh, you know putting, what is he, what's that guy doing over there? Um, actually, I, I'll even show you if you guys don't even believe me. Uh, can this wire go there? I'll even show you. I don't know if I could show you. Uh, my wire won't reach. It won't reach. I'll try to get there. But got these guys doing up there, um, building, was that, uh, they're putting a roof up on the house and they're guys building a chimney out of stone. You know what I mean? What's that guy possibly making? It's so funny. You want to laugh? I walk outside, right? When I'm doing my meeting, because you know, I like to walk around the property because it's, you know, because with the coronavirus, I like to go out there and, you know, feed my chickens and maybe check out my garden. You know, I got the tomatoes that are starting to, you know, if you ever watch my, you know, should watch my show. Uh, I also have another uh, YouTube show called Faust's Home Living, which is one of my hobbies. It's just a hobby. You know what I mean? And these people look at me like, what does that guy do all day? What does he do? Like, he's there every day. Like, does this guy make money? Like, what does he do? And I'm like, I trade. They're like, and you making money doing, you could do that? People freak out. They're like, yeah, even, even the contractor, the guy that, that, that's building the house, he comes and knocks on my door. He's following me. He goes, what, what are you trading this morning? What are you trading? Because I got, I got to take this money out of this house. 
And don't mind me bouncing around, but I'm telling you, this is like everyday life as a trader. So anyway, getting back to the Delta, the, the, the Delta trade. How many of you here feel like every time you buy a stock, the thing goes down? And every time you sell it, right, it goes up. Ever happened to anybody? Has ever happened to anyone? Sure, Kimberly's saying, right? Alan, all the time. That's me, Chris is saying. It happens to me four times a day. <laughs> From Peter. Yes, sir. Okay. Could I, could I squash this whole conversation right now? You know what your problem is? It's not that they're watching you. You're not watching them. You're supposed to watch them. Not sit there and guess and like, Yo, do I get out of this trade now? Do I get out now? Do I get, oh my God, it keeps going down. And then like, I I'm getting out. That's it. I'm done. I can't, I can't lose anymore. And as soon as you sell it, getting back to like this Delta trade, right? You rode the thing down almost a dollar 40. And like, I can't believe I just lost $1,400. And if I just waited one more minute, one more minute, because that Mr. Fibonacci crossed it with the Bollinger Band, hit the 200 moving average with the RSI said, I got to sell right now because this thing's going lower. And that one last stinking minute, the stock goes back up and boom, I would have started making money back again because you didn't watch them. That's the only reason why. And it's time not to pretend. Let's time. It's time to start watching them. Let's talk about pen. Okay. Where do you guys think resistance levels is on pen? Let's see what you guys say that. I got to turn my air conditioner. I'm starting to get hot in here. I get so excited when I do these meetings because you know, listen, I, it's just so great to kind of show everybody how, you know, how the market really works. You know, I do so many presentations. I've trained hundreds of thousands of people. I've been in front of audiences, hundreds of people. And I just hate seeing the people that are sitting there dumbfounded that are, are sitting there just trying to say, you know, uh, what do I do? It's easy. You just got to follow them. You know what the hardest part about trading is hitting the button. Really, is what it comes down to it. Now, every single one of you here, if you all said that resistance levels is at 58, you're right. Remember, resistance are sellers. Sellers on the right. I, listen, I don't think this 50 share guy is going to really make a difference. Oh, my God. There's even a whoop, one share. Woo. Big spender. He's looking to buy. You know, looking to sell fifty six dollars worth of stock. You know what? He's still there. You know, it's this is all this is the data. He's you know he's a real seller. It's going to show up. But I'm not scared of that guy. I'm scared of the guy fifty six. That's what I'm scared of. And guess what? If you didn't look at it and watched it, you could have been there all day and you're sitting there scratching your head since eleven o'clock and like I don't understand why is this stock making past fifty six? Why well, it just makes no sense to me. He keeps staying there. Why does he keep staying there? I'm sitting there, you're sitting there all day. Honey, go get me lunch. I, I, I can't leave. I'm in pen. It's not breaking 56. I don't understand. What, what's going on with pen? You know? By the way, where's pen today? Let's look at the long term chart. Yeah, it looks like it was kind of really kind of holding here for a little while and starting to back off. This is a couple of days ago when I took this page. Yeah, look at this one right here. Yeah, it's probably still out there. But I'm going to show you these guys, right? Uh, Chris says, uh, every time I put a stop, my stop gets ran over and then the price reverses. The reason why, Chris, is because you're showing everybody you're making a very dumb mistake. I don't know who the hell taught you that. But the reason why is because you're advertising and showing your, your cards and people can know that you're there and they're executing you. And that playing the plain reverse like the plain the reverse psychology card on you is something that I practice all the time as a market maker. I love people like you, and I try to recruit people, open accounts with people like you because I'm trading against you. Remember, it's your money, and and it's just it's only business. It's only business. Now, a lot of people don't like the word business because the definition of business is making money. 
Some people don't like people making money, but that's what this is about. If you don't like making money, you don't like this type of business, you should not be trading, which I all know all of you here are, are not like the other millions of people in the world. And you want to, you love, you love this business, you know, so that's how things are being played. A uh, couple of questions coming across. I got to react to what really happens. It's not trying to predict the future. Well, there you go, Barry, but you got to have a game plan. That's what it's all about. You want to know where what we call these icebergs orders are. Because an iceberg order, we all know what happened. It's a Titanic, right? That's why I use the word iceberg. I kind of invented this word about once I, once I watched the movie. But everybody was more concerned how beautiful the ship is, but they didn't concern what was at the bottom. And that's why all those wonderful people died. And you know what? If you don't know where those iceberg orders are in the market, you're just going to blow up your account. Uh, if it's so easy to trade, then to make it a profit night for the trades, losing money. Uh, why? Uh, can't you please explain it? Well, listen, <laughs> to answer that question is this. Are you doing it right now? I've been doing it for 25 years. Okay. You came to me. You found me somehow, if it was on my YouTube channel or even, like, first of all, we don't advertise. Honestly, we don't have to. We don't market. We don't market at all. We don't need to, okay? I don't need two, 3,000 people in my room. I can get 5,000 if I wanted to. But, you know, try to get a job at Goldman Sachs and see how hard it is. If, if Goldman Sachs was the best, why is not everybody working there? Because well, they don't hire everybody, Okay. A lot of reason why people fail is because they're ignorant and they don't want to, and they don't want to take the time to learn it. Or they found the wrong mentor and got, you know, sold somebody on, on, a, on an infomercial on a YouTube channel, you know, that a pop-up window came up. I mean, that's, the, or watch something on a Sunday, a Saturday infomercial, you know, I, I really, honestly, I really don't have time for that. And you know what? The thing is this. You need to find someone that's going to coach you, that's going to call you on the phone, that's going to work with you, and also is going to have invested interest in you to succeed. And that's what we are here at CyberTrain University. Um, and let me tell you something. Between you and I, I try to compete with every school out there because I like to expose them. I should have been a 25-time world champion. Half of them even show up. Because they were embarrassed that they were going to lose. It doesn't look too good on your record when you lose in training. All right? Actually, sometimes I had to go up against my own employees because someone didn't show up. Because the show had to go on. That was another funny thing. But, uh, but let's go talk about fake news. A lot of people always say, oh, I heard about this. How do you know they're real? How do you know that they're not fake? Well, first of all, no brokerage firm will allow you to put a fake order out there. Okay? But there is a window that will expose them and let you know if they're fake or not. It's called time and sales window. Now I've been trading. Um, I'm actually, what would you, obviously I'm not this old, but you see what those guys doing on the right? That's called a tape reader. Okay. I'm actually was, was a tape reader myself. I could actually just read like you ever see like a Fox business or CNBC. You see that little ticker on the bottom. That's called the tape. Okay. I could, I, I was trained that I could just watch the tape and know exactly where the direction is going. And I could watch several stocks at one time just by reading the tape. Now, over, over the years, technology got better. Now we have what's called the time and sales window, which will tell us every single transaction where they're taking place. Now, we color coordinate them. Green means trades on the offer. Red means trades on the bid. So it's basically what it comes down to it. You know where the buyers are? You know where the sellers are? You see the greens, you see the reds. A lot of red stocks going down. A lot of green stocks going up. Oh, Jesus, even a third grade could figure that one out, right? Even a kindergarten. You know, you give them two colors. That's basically it. I guess it's the same colors we use when we drive a car, right? We know what we do when you see green. We know when you see red. Well, let's look at a stock called OXI. We have 70,000 buyers at 128, 128 shares and make up a $15 stock. I mean, that's a lot of money. What is that? About almost $2 million worth of stock. 70 people around the world are making it up combined to buy 15. Now in theory, 
what you've learned so far, what do you think is going to happen at $15? What do you think is going to happen? Just take a little guess. A little guess. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to go up or it's going to go down? Because that's really, that's really what the whole thing about is, right? Now, remember, it's not guaranteed. It's not, nothing's guaranteed other than we're going to die one day. We're always going to pay taxes, right? But what is, you know, in theory is the word that we use. In theory, the stock should go up at 15. Okay. Now, look at the chart. It went from 1750 all the way down. It around 230, it hit that $15, went up, hit $15. And then all of a sudden it tanked and it went all the way down to 12. How did that happen? What? I, but I just told you that it was a support level. Well, did you ever think that somebody would actually sell it to them? Look at all the transactions. 15, 15, 15, 15,000 shares, 25,000, 5,000, 9,000, 2,000, 2,000. Red, 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 red. The guy, somebody went out there and said, you know what? Maybe the CEO want to build a new extension in his house. Maybe somebody got inside information. I don't know what it could have been. Okay, these are just old theories. But at the end of the day, that guy was getting executed. And what we train you at Cybertrain University is, hey, stock has been trending down. Maybe this is it. This is it. This is the bottom support levels. But after watching it for over 30 minutes and watching and seeing that guy get executed, it only, it, it, you, you, you go from hot to cold. You're like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. This guy's getting executed. This guy, somebody's actually selling it to him. He's going to be buying all the, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I, why would anybody sell to him? I'm not going to figure that. I'm out. As much as, much as I thought I was going to be a buyer, boom, I'm a seller. And you know what? If you didn't have that game plan, if you didn't have that tool, guess what? You're crying right now because now you went from 15 down to 1250, 1000 shares, boom, $2500 lost like that. For what reason? Why did you have to do this to yourself? Did you really have to do that? For $9, you just lost 2500 just not not having the right tools. But Steve, you have to understand how many of you here are using time in sales? How many of you are using it? And I know what people are going to say. Oh, I, 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 it's moving too fast. I can't, you know. The reason why it's moving too fast is you don't have your default set. Who trained you how to use time in sales? That's what you got to keep asking yourself. Okay? That's what you got to keep asking yourself. Listen, how many of you here are retired? How many of you here are living on Social Security? How many of you here got kicked out of work and now you're hoping you're going to get that $1,200, you know, uh, you know, stimulus check? Okay. Sorry, you're retired? Okay, great. How many of you here are locked up in your house and working from home and now maybe you got furlong? Or now they're saying that this, this whole coronavirus lasts another year. What do you think is going to happen? You only lived in it for about four months. Could you imagine just living it through a year? What are you going to do for money? Your mortgage company is going to write it off for you. Like, they don't care about you. They want their money. That's not their problem. You know what I mean? Insurance companies. You know, I mean, like, you know, my office. I'll give you an example. Okay? My office has been shut down for four months. Do you know this is a little stipulation in my, in my, in my insurance that says they don't cover, they do not cover for epidemics. They cover for a hurricane. They cover a shutdown. They don't. I never heard this. So right now, I am dishing money away. All these companies that are, are that are not there, they are not getting insurance. How about all these riots? Do you know that if you get robbed, you're insured. But if if there's a riot, they do not cover you. All those people lost all that money for everything they work for. The reason where I'm coming with this all is that look at the investment that you got to make for all this stuff that's going on. Why not just stay home? Make, you could probably make a hell of a lot more. No stress, no train, no, just trade. 
That's all it comes down to. Just trade. 50 cents. Look at this stock right here. Kodak. One of our biggest winners. Um, and by the way, we were trading Kodak on a Monday before it even bust out on Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. You can go back and, you know, go look at our YouTube channel and, and we could prove it to you. All right. If you really want to do fact checking, go to our YouTube channel. Look at, look at Mark S, 60 cents, Jerry, Buck, uh, 74 cents, closed out for the open. You don't got to buy a stock go from 13 to 20 in one day, actually in one hour. If you just got 50 cents, you made your day's pay. They're there every single day, guys. Listen, every one of you need to learn from mentors. And I know some of you here probably took some training courses from people. Um, you know, and feel like you got to get it to work. Like I was talking to a student just the other day. He's like, you know, Faust, I paid 5,000 for a class. I wish I, I met you last week, but I'm committed to it. I'm like, listen, you know, any people did a trade and they lost 5,000 because it was a mistake. What is that going to, they got to get their money back and hold on to No, you know, you got to move on. But every one of you need to sample a little bit of everybody's stuff. Okay. And look what, I, look what I taught you less than an hour. Could you imagine what you would see in a week live in the market? So once you understand how trading works, you're going to see, you know, you could spend more time in your family. You could do the things you always want to do in life. You don't got to answer to anybody. You know, I, I was mentioned earlier, how many of you here retired? You think you could live on your pension? Come on, guys. Seriously? You're supposed to build on that. You could blow through that in a year. You know, it's and you know how many people I know that saved all that money and lost it all? All of it. Because, you know, it, it's just it's just terrible. And it's 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 a it's it's just a, 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 a it's it's a terrible situation. And I'm here to help, but I'm also looking to tr look into hire people that I could train that I can make money with you. Now, if you feel like you have it in you, if you like what you heard and you see, and if I taught you a lot, what I need you to do is I want you to come join me, come and join me and meet the people that I train and let's work together and make money together. And let's, it, you know, let's, let's profit from this, this election that's coming up, up or down. Let's profit from the coronavirus if it's going up or down. And let's enjoy life and build a nice house and live in it comfortably instead of worrying about if I'm going to get my job back and worry about a $1,200 stimulus check or for some of you getting a, a $400 unemployment. I mean, like, I, I could even imagine that how important that is for some of us, but we're doing that in a day. Why worrying about getting as an entitlement? Go make your own money. And it's easy and there's no better time to get it and now. And you are going to see when you come and join my trading room, you're going to see why Cybertrade University has been endorsed by more brokerage firm than anyone in the industry. And let me tell you something. If you're dealing with a school and, they don't, and they're not being endorsed by anybody, trust me, do not do business with them because these guys do credit checks on us. They do background checks on us. You think they're going to want Fausto Puglisi to come do a presentation in front of their audience, knowing that, that we're a bunch, of, you know, a bunch of scammers and a bunch of thieves? No. They want us to train their, their clients because they know that if you're successful, you're going to be a client theirs forever. Who, which, it's like a win-win for them. But legally, they're not allowed to train you because it's a compliance issue. So this is what I want to do. What I want everybody to do is this. I want you to come and join me in the original cyber group trading room. You're seeing trading rooms all over the place. Well, guess what? Where do you think they learned? A lot of them are my students. A lot of them just copied, you know, uh, what we do. Because obviously, and it's a good thing. You know, listen, it's flattery. It means we're doing something right. Webinars. Oh, my God. Zoom. Web I've been doing webinars for 23 years. Okay. If there's anyone who can consult anyone on webinars, it's us. But what I'm looking to do is this, come in my trading room, look and watch, not how much money we make, 
but watch how much money we don't lose, how we control losses, how we get out of, in and out of positions, how everybody's working together, how everyone's making call outs. And let me tell you something. If I could teach a 90 year old grandma from, you know, from Australia to do it, you could do it. It's where it comes down to it. Now, this is what it costs. $9. That's it. The $9, honestly, I lose money on this. I lose a lot. Just you pick up the phone and talking to one of my employees, I got to pay $15. I mean, my cheapest employee is $15 an hour because that's the law here. But $9 basically just proves to me you're a real person. We don't, we don't, we don't want any, we're not looking, we don't want any free stuff. If you're looking for free stuff, please, we're not interested. Because when you trade, there is no such thing of free software. There's no such thing of free rent. And there's no such thing of free lunches. Someone's going to pay. Well, why not know the truth, what you have to pay and what you don't have to pay for? So at $9 is what you're going to get. You're going to get, you're going to get access to our trading room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, your own personal education advisor. And you know what? If we suck at it, I'll give you $9 back. Honestly, I don't need the $9, okay? Um, if we're going to go out there and you want to see it, take the $9. If it doesn't work out, I'll give it back to you at the end of the week. At least it'll be the best nine, the free $9 you ever spent. Now, if you register right now, the first 20 people, I will do a free coaching class with you. Now, people look at this and be like, wait a minute, why would Fausto waste his time talking to me? Now, remember, this, what you're filling out is an application fee, okay? Then I'm going to interview you, and I'm going to make a decision if you're, gonna, if you're qualified to be part of my team. And I'll be, I'll be extremely honest, and some people, you might not like what I say. Some people are going to respect it. But if you came to a doctor and you had something wrong with you, would you like to be say, hey, you really don't need the surgery? Or would, you, or would I say, oh, yeah, you need the surgery so I can make my twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Meanwhile, you really didn't need it. I'll be extremely honest with you. It, I don't want people to go out there and hurt themselves. But you know what? Let's start with the 9 bucks. Let's go out there and make that small investment. All right? Um, now, we got about a couple of minutes left. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? When can I start on Monday? Yes. So what's going to happen is this. You are going to, um, once you register, there's a questionnaire, which is very important you fill it out because that questionnaire is going to let us know a little bit about you and that will help us to advise you if you're qualified or not. But fill out that questionnaire. It's only five questions. And then you're gonna, we're going to call you up and we're going to schedule an appointment to talk to one of the education advisors because he needs to explain to you what to expect and what to see in the trading room. Listen, we want to show you the, the customer service and the responsibility, how serious we take it. Listen, this is a serious business. It's not a joke, okay? You could lose everything. So we want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself involved in. And then we're going to walk you through it. And if there's a specific day you want to start, we could do that, okay? Because I know it, it, there's no perfect time for this, so for everybody. But, I mean, for me, I would start as soon as you get off the phone with me. But if you can't, talk to them, and then we'll get started, and then you'll be able to schedule your appointment, and then we'll be able to talk from there. Uh, any other question? How frequently do you uh, trade per day? Oh, okay, I missed that one. I guess Rich answered that question. Uh, Steve says, how – Steve um, Largo says, um, Fausto, do you recommend for trading platform like TradeStation? Well, we actually showcase TradeStation. It's a very good platform. So, yes, it's one of them, but there are several of them out there that you could use. We don't work for the brokerage firms. We don't get paid by brokerage firms. We don't want to work for them, okay? We are independent, and but, but we'll tell you, and we can't, and the reason why is we teach people around the world, and only certain people can open an account with certain brokerage firms. So we'll go out there, and we'll, once you talk to us, we'll, we'll advise you who probably be the best for you due to your account balance, your, what country you're from, and, you know, your situation, and what really, what's your game plan? Um, uh, Max, I really, I hate to hear that. I just got burned by somebody. What is your cancellation policy? Max, listen, remember what I just told you. We got a five-star ra uh, rating on Google. 
We got a triple A rating on the Better Business Bureau. You know how hard that is? We are endorsed by every brokerage firm. You really think, Max, that I need to sit there and burn somebody and ruin my credibility? You could do more damage to me than I could do to you. You're just the one person. I could ruin my reputation forever. Believe me, I don't need to do that. Okay. That's why everybody's a case by case basis. So my cancellation policy, I told you, your money back guaranteed. I don't need your $9. Okay. If you don't want to move forward with us, that's okay. You don't have to. I don't need you to go out there and say, oh, I just got scammed. You know, um, they won't give me a refund or like I heard the other day, which was, which is ridiculous. Somebody told me that they got into a, uh, bored into a program and I, and I, I listen, I can't, I, I don't, I'm not in the bashing business. It's not good business to do that. But I had someone tell me, he says, oh, I, I, I bought this course for $500 or $1,000. And they, they, they said, guarantee money back. And then they told me, but, but I never went through, I had to go through the whole program and, and watch 200 hours of videos to give it. When I watched the first five, I said, this is garbage. They're going to force me to watch 200 hours of it. And I'm like, oh, that's a scam. I mean, that, that, that's a good way to get money back guarantee. They got you two, 3,000 but they're forcing you to watch it, you know, but we don't do that. Listen, we're not going to bury you with several hundred hours of videos. You can't learn in these videos. You know, you're not going to watch them. You want to see this stuff live. You want to talk to somebody on the phone. That's how you make money. So listen, there's the link. Five spots. Left. We got one spot left, Rich. Listen, if, if we sell out, cause there's over a hundred, over a hundred, 200 people in here, you're still going to talk to an an, uh, an instructor. I only have a certain amount of hours I can give up during the week. All right. Uh, let me do a couple of shout outs really quick here. Uh, who do we got? Uh, Susan Song from California, Sunville's California. You got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else we got here? Biden. Biodun. Biodun. Sorry about that. From California. You got your registration. Who else we got here? Wow, you guys are filling up pretty quickly. Uh, I can't even go down my phone that quick. John from Buffalo, New York, got your registration. You probably hear the bing going in the background. That's my email of you guys registering. Uh, Nate M from uh, BC, British Columbia. So listen, if you're from Canada, let me just tell you, 20% of the traders in my room are all Canadians. I've been to Canada for 20 years. Uh, if it wasn't for coronavirus, I'd probably be up there right now. I'm up there about five, six times a year from the West coast to the East coast. A lot of people love the U S market. So you know what? If you're all my Canadian friends out there, you're going to make a lot of friends here. Mark, you signed up yesterday. Awesome. Okay. Jose, you registered from the mid hedge fund seminar that I did yesterday. Awesome. Good. Welcome. I look forward to seeing you in there. Well, welcome back. It always sounds better when you listen to it twice, doesn't it? All right. Any other questions, guys? All right. So listen, before we go, um, just want to leave everybody off with a couple of last minute questions, uh, last minute things. Listen, I know a lot of you are not, not interested, you know, and or just not ready to hit the, you know, make that a commitment. Uh, there's some of you that are, that are registered and listen, you're going to have a piss up. You have a blast when you see that when you see what goes on in the room. And you start counting other people's money, people like you, you're going to freak out. You, first, you're going to be pissed off at yourself to wish I, I should wish I knew that I didn't do this, you know, found me sooner. I hear that all the time. And that's OK. It's never too late. But um, but there are people that I'm a little concerned about that are just not ready yet. And that's OK. Listen, you probably don't like the way I speak. You probably don't like the way I look. You probably don't like the way I'm showing you. But let me just tell you this. If you are going to trade this market, you damn well better get a mentor and get education from somebody because you are just one ham Sam ham Sam. Uh, my trainer always told me this. You're one ham sandwich away from diabetes. Well, you're only one trade away from blowing up your account. Okay. You got to go out there and not just learn from a person. You got to be learned with, with the team that you with, with the students that are in there. That's how you become very successful at it. So don't make that dumb mistake. All right, guys. Uh, I would only care on how you teach nothing else, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see. I got another question here. Uh, Barry says a question. 
thanks for the refresher. I love the stuff, man. You deserve more than what you offer. You're like a, uh, a modern day uh, samurai of the stock market. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Barry. That's awesome. Listen, um, it's it just like, you know what, Barry? I've, I do a lot of charity work. You'll even bump into a bunch of NFL players that are in the trading room. Um, head coaches at college footballs. I train them all. Um, even I've done even I've done charity work. Uh, it goes on and on. People that are in incarceration, you know, been, been in jail. I've trained people like that, you know, to help get them off their feet to trade. I love doing charity work. But the thing is, you know, everybody, you know, because it's, it's a very easy business to get into. It really is. But you can't go into a business unless you learn from people from other people's mistakes. So you're going to meet a lot of great people, but I'm also, you know, I just hate seeing people lose money. It's just, it's just because I hate going in front of an audience and hearing people so negative about it. Just like what you see what the politicians are doing. They sit there and they said, oh, Wall Street's bad. They're, we got to tax them. They're bad people. I'm like, well, why are they so bad? What did they do? What did they do so wrong? Because they, they know how to make money. Well, you know, I want to make money too. So why not hear, why not listen to hear to the other side of the story? You understand? Why don't you hear the other side of the story instead of worrying about them? You know, let, let's tax the hell out of them. Well, you know what? Good. Then tax them. Great. But why do they make so much money? That's the question. What are they doing that you're not? And I'm telling you right now, this is what they're doing. And if you like to, and, and, and listen, you don't got to be like those big shots to make millions and millions of dollars. If you made yourself a couple of hundred thousand, is that, is that the end of the world? Some of you be happy to make 50,000. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about risk to reward and working less, not working harder. Okay. You're more than welcome. Good. Go. Jeff, go get your doctor's appointment. All right. We'll see you in the trading room. Listen, I got to go too. I got to get ready for the afternoon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for registering. Look forward to seeing you all in the trading room, everybody. And don't forget to watch the videos uh, on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you watch the NASDAQ video. If you want to know a little bit more about the video of uh, NASDAQ total view, you know, do your homework on us and we'll look forward to seeing you uh, in the trading room. Thanks for watching.